Hi there, I'm Officer Dale, I mean Trooper Dale, and I am a big fan of the Bad Boys movies. So today, luckily thanks to J Buck Studios, we are ranking them Bad Boys movies from worst to best. These masterful, action-packed Bad Boys Michael Bay movies. But a little backstory about myself. I've been with The Force for about eight years now, and I've seen anything and everything from disorderly conduct to a man losing his pecker to a woodpecker. Man, oh man, I would have been so upset if that would have happened. But without further ado, let's get into this because I'm a big movie buff. Let's rank these Bad Boys movies. Oh, sorry, sorry. But before I get into my ranking for the J-Buck Studio heads, so kindly invite me over. What is your guys' ranking of these Bad Boys movies? These three Bad Boys movies. Let us know. Let the J-Buck Studios heads, let them know in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get into number three. Landing at the number three spot is definitely 1995's Bad Boys. I mean, this is the film that started it all. So that's why it's hitting a little bit lower on my list list because you got Michael Bay coming out of nowhere directing this action-packed movie. I mean, this is some top-notch action. But then you get in the Fresh Prince and this Martin Lawrence character. They are not seeing eye-to-eye. They are great at being these partners, though, because the chemistry, the chemistry throughout these Bad Boys movies is the lifeblood of bad boys but you get the combination of these two fine fellows as cops with michael bay with the talent of beautiful michael bay's action set pieces this is a fine action 90s movie but then you get the beautiful uh, tia leone in this movie i i believe it's tia leone you get her in this movie as the as the woman in distress and whatnot she can definitely carry her own. That's why I like her this movie. Because the woman does not need these foolish cops coming after and saving her. But the thing is, them working together, that's what makes this movie so great. Unfortunately, again, 1995, this was a good 25 years ago. So this is a little bit of a dated film. Hitting at the number three spot. Now, number two is going to be Bad Boys 2. I still, to this day, think that they should have called this movie Bad Boys 2 or Bad Boys boys to men something like that tying it in with that wonderful 90s boy band whatnot boys to men i believe it was but anyways yes we follow these characters from the first bad boys that brought on so many fans but michael bay he's a little bit further in his career the martin lawrence the will smith they're a little bit further in their careers as well and man oh man do they come together in this wonderful action movie again 2003 the action in this movie is over the top we got this movie open up on a kkk raid and believe me i've been there i've been to one of these raids and my god what michael bay and crew did for this raid scene is exactly this this almost put a t in my eye because this was an emotional thing this very much reminded me very much of one my first raid on the kkk down here but anyway going through the rest of the movie the highway chase where they're launching cars at them and they're having to weave through the streets of miami my god this movie is the best action this is one this takes action and ramps it up and again michael bay Michael Bay knows what he's doing when it comes to action. I know he did that uh, Foolish Pool Harbor movie with the love story in there with that Aflac fella. And then also there was that Armageddon bringing, saving, the, the Armageddon movie was a nice American tale. Saving the world, saving the USA from this giant asteroid. But I'm talking about a different movie. Bad Boys 2 though, man, they, they, they don't just stay in the United States, you know. At that end, the last like half an hour when they're going to save Martin Lawrence his sister that is a delightful lovely scene but when they are going through the streets and tearing the town of cuba that small town in cuba is cute cute i'm gonna i'm gonna call it cuba when they're go, going with those hummers through all the the shanty towns of cuba man oh man michael bay i don't know how much you had to pay to tear that town apart but man again masterful filmmaking right there bad boys 2 again this takes the action this takes the chemistry of the first bad boys and ramps it up to that next level and getting that golden hen at the number one spot is bad boys 3 you know better known as bad boys for life i don't want to get in about the title they could have named uh you know this bad boys 3 
um, and said for life for the fourth film because this is definitely going to get a fourth installment in the franchise because this movie, again, we have been on a good, what, 16, 17 year hiatus from these bad boys movies. Martin Lawrence is, you know, he's maybe gained a few LBs. Believe me, I've had a donut or two in my day. But Will Smith looks just like he did from the, you know, what, two, bad boys 2 from 2003. And these guys, they come back. The chemistry, the chemistry again in all of these movies is the standout, the core of this franchise. And the chemistry in Bad Boys for Life is the best it has been. Again, we are moving away, I hate to say it, but Michael Bay did not do this third installment in the Bad Boys franchise. We had to go to a different director, but the action in this movie, the action in Bad Boys for Life is on par with the franchise. I mean, Michael Bay likes to do certain things with the camera, likes to do a lot of sweeping shots, likes to get them scantily clad ladies in the clubs. But this movie, this takes things in a definitely a different direction. And I liked it. You know, the two characters are grown up. They're moving on. They, they aren't those young bucks. Those young bucks that they used to in the first two films, they are older men. They don't know what they're doing with their lives. But then it gets into the story beats. And the beats of the story are what's probably the best in the franchise right now. You know, you get these emotional beats. There's this reveal of something in Will Smith's past. That officer's past. And it is touching. My God, when I was watching this film this past weekend, I got a bit teary-eyed watching this. Because, again, this reminded me so much of my childhood. So much growing up with me, my poppy, and my mama. Man, oh man, this movie is a movie that is masterfully made. You know, the action, the chemistry. You got the story beats and the whatnot. This is a movie that definitely deserves the high spot, the top spot on this franchise raking. And something that many, many people need to go out and check out. So that is the Bad Boys ranking for the J Buck Studios channel. Do you guys do you guys agree with this ranking? Do you not agree? Again, this is my ranking in accordance with the J Buck Studio heads. We all agreed on this ranking, you know, from best to worst. But what's your guys' ranking? Did you guys put action above the story, the story above the action, or those scantily clad, ooh, we scantily clad ladies above all else? Let me know. Let me and the J Buck Studios know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Again, I am Trooper Dale. Thank you so much for inviting me over to this channel. And until next time, we'll see you later. Guys, we need to make this more realistic. There is no coffee in this cup. Now, this fine piece of art right here gives the meanest mustache rides. Yeah, for Bad Boys 2, my cousin Billy wanted to be an extra for that clan scene, but he uh, they found out he was actually a clan member. Now, Bad Boys 2 is the one with the titties, right? <laughs> oh, we're recording this, aren't we?